Hi guys, my name's Paul Duffy from Advanced Electronics. Um, just bring together another quick how-to video, and this is how to take a, an upload and download from your panel to your to your PC. Um, just going to give you a quick demonstration, um, show you what you do on the control panel side and the and the PC. So if I just switch my camera, so hopefully your control panel should be displaying normal operation. Um, in order to transfer any data to and from the the control panel. Um, what we need to, to do is press our menu button, okay, go into your tools, so you'll see I'm going to use some shortcut keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, press number six, straight into tools, or I can use my navigational keys. So if I press number six, it takes me straight into tools, and we need to put the panel into commissioning menu. Go into commissioning menu, put in your password, press the enter button, okay, we're now in commissioning menu, we locate the PC menu, and we put it into PC config. Okay, that's now waiting for your PC. In order for um, the the transfer to to be initiated, we obviously got a, a direct serial port and a direct USB. So RS two three two serial and B type USB. If you're using the the B type USB, make sure you install our USB drivers. I'm just going to transfer you over to Sean. Sean's connected to a panel and he's going to talk you through the process of uploading and downloading. Today we will look at the process of transferring the panel configuration file down to our PC using the MX Pro Series configuration software. Before we begin the process, we must make sure the panel is in the commissioning level and we have our communications lead connected between the PC and the control panel. To begin the process, we must first create a new file. So we select the new file option at the top left hand corner here. And then we select the communications icon. If we have issues communicating with the control panel because of an incorrect COM port, we can select the correct COM port within the settings icon. Come down to communications and the COM port can be selected. Once we are communicating with the control panel, we will be given a product type, a product name if it is an existing site. This is a brand new panel I'm connecting to, a software version, and the configuration checksum. To extract the information down to our PC, we select File and Transfer from Panel to PC. This option is only available if we are communicating with the control panel. We will be given the option to confirm if this is a standalone panel. If it is part of a network, we would select no and allocate a node number to this control panel. We must give the panel a name. and the process of receiving the data from the panel. Once complete, we can select Done. And our panel will now appear in our site list, allowing us to program any required information. And of course, always remember to select this Save icon to save the configuration file. 